Okay, so here's my super rinky-dinky simple exposure unit. Um, basically, it's just a 2x4. Um, I've cut it into a couple pieces. These pieces here, I've got the measurements here. This piece is 29 inches long. This piece along the back is 24 inches. This vertical piece is 19 inches. And these, this piece is 10 inches. This 45 degree ang angle, I don't know, it's probably five inches, something like that. Um, really simple design, um, nothing, nothing tricky to it. Uh, just use two and a half inch uh, deck screws to screw it all together. And um, yeah, that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna hang my, hang my UV light from the top here, uh, shining down on the, on the screen to expose. And I'm gonna walk you guys through how that goes. Okay, so in addition to my high-tech 2x4 design, I also have just a simple cushion. Um, I bought this off of Amazon, this foam cushion. Um, it's about three inches thick, um, and I just covered it with a black t-shirt so that it can absorb some of the UV light. Um, I don't know how effective that is, but that's, that's what I read was a good, was a good strategy. Um, so basically, this thing is just cut to the exact size of the inside of my screen so that when I put this together here, the screen is held on. Um, when I put the glass on here, it will be nice and tight so you don't have any light leakage or anything like that. So the pad is just cut so that it fits right inside my screen and makes it nice and easy and nice, nice and uh, snug fit. Okay, so the last couple pieces to bring it all together is a simple 50 watt UV light. Um, that I hang from the top of this of the exposure unit um, and this little switch um, Just a simple on off switch so that I can so that I can uh, run my time exactly what I want it to be without having to worry about unplugging um, Just a simple switch again uh, Everything that I everything that I get is either out in the yard or is off Amazon. So um, simple switch and then the last thing the last piece of the exposure unit itself is a uh, simple piece of, I got this plexiglass, I wasn't sure, everyone says regular glass is what you need, but this plexiglass has worked great for me so far, I've had no exposure unit, or ex exposure issues, and uh, it's got a couple little tiny nicks in it, but really haven't seen any effects at all, and this was like 10 bucks on Amazon, and uh, don't have to worry about cutting yourself, and seems to really do the job, so um, I know a lot of people don't recommend it because it gets scratched easy, um, but it, I haven't seen anything. I probably exposed 200 screens or something like that with this and haven't really seen any effect, any negative effect. So um, really recommend something simple like this. It's nice, it's light. Um, it's not gonna cut your screens if you put it on there wrong. So um, kind of recommend this. So uh, I'll show you, we'll put it all together now. So I just want to show you, this is the template that I made. I just made this out of MDF. I just cut this thing to exactly the inside size of my screen so that the screens fit nicely over it. I did make this thing a little bit thicker so that when I set a screen on top of it, the mesh actually makes contact with this surface. So when you have emulsion on your screen, it makes it really easy to look through and still see these lines. Um, then I just squared it up. I made the lines based on where I like my palette to line up, so I'm sure that'll be something that would be different for everybody. But um, this has really worked out well for me when I'm registering a two-color print I, uh, or a multi-color print on the screen itself. When I use this template, the the image is in the exact same spot on both on all of my screens. So um, something obviously in the process of actually exposing a screen. Um, this would have emulsion on it, so I turn off my overhead lights in my garage. Um, they're just simple neon lights. I don't know how much light leakage that is, but just to be safe, I just use this simple, this simple little light that I got off Amazon. Again, off Amazon, I'm not, a, I'm not trying to advertise for them. I think they have enough advertisement. But simple yellow light, um, and I'll put all the, all the little items uh, that I've purchased and a link to them um, down in the description. So I just use this yellow overhead light while I'm lining up my screen and then I'll take it over to the exposure unit and pretend like I'm exposing the screen and show you what that looks like. So this is the design I'm making for the local high school drama club. Um, so just as a quick reminder, you wanna make sure that you put this, the 
way that it reads correctly, you want to put that face down on the shirt side. So I'm going to turn it upside down so that when you're looking at it from the shirt side, you should see the image reversed. So you should be looking at a mirror image of it. So then I just line this thing up with using these registration marks and uh, we'll take it over and I'll show you what it looks like to expose it. Okay, so as I said earlier, I have my, I've got my transparency type taped to my screen exactly where I want it. Um, I'm just gonna slide, just gonna slide my frame down over my pad, um, and then to hold, to hold the transparency against the screen, I'm just gonna take my little plexiglass. I'm just gonna throw it on there, and magically the lights have turned off, and I just have that yellow bulb on now. Um, so I have my, I have my screen here. I've got my UV light ready to go. And like I said earlier, my, my exposure is right at 55 seconds. Get great exposures at 55 seconds. Um, one of the things that I, that I really believe is everyone's situation is going to be a little bit different, whether it's you know, maybe a little bit of difference in the emulsion, whether it's a little bit of difference in the light. I don't really know. But I don't think you can really take my advice for how long you're going to expose. You're just going to have to play around with it and decide what you get a good, a good exposure time as. So... I've got my yellow light on, I've got my overhead lights off, so hopefully you guys can see okay, but basically I just come here, I've got this thing all set up, I turn on my UV light, and simple as that, I just either use my phone to time it or just count, count my seconds, and um, really have gotten really great results with this. It's nothing complicated, like I said earlier, I expose this thing, um, and then as soon as I turn this thing off, I run it out to the hose, get it wet to stop the, stop the exposure, and then I wash it out. So um, hopefully this thing... Uh, one more quick tip, just because I've seen people ask this question before, um, and just to make this very clear, um, you want to take, take your transparency off and then wet your and then wet your screen so that you can wash it out. I know that seems probably 99% of you understand that and know that, but just for the one or two people that aren't 100% sure how that works, you want to take the transparency off and then wet your screen to stop the stop the exposure from from continuing. So so hopefully this will help you guys out, help somebody out. Um, obviously it's not rocket science, it's just a real simple 2x4 construction um, and uh, something that I kind of messed around with a lot, watching different videos on YouTube and uh, stealing some ideas. So hopefully some of you guys can steal some ideas and uh, get some use out of it. I see a lot of questions on Reddit or wherever um, asking these questions, but um, it's pretty simple. You just need to, you need to figure out what works for you and hopefully this will help some of you out. So uh, good luck, happy printing, and uh, hope this helps you out.